Welcome inside our San Francisco studios, UCLA, not playing too far from where we are. In fact, it's just 44.8 miles away. Levi Stadium. We just watched the game. You were there last night for the Pac-12 championship game. Instead, it's going to be the Bruins. Jim Mora, a familiar opponent in Nebraska, played him two years ago, and they know about Mike Riley. How much of an advantage do you think it is for Mike Riley, who not only knows this conference, but knows UCLA? Well, it's an advantage because he's seen them play so many teams, but they did not play UCLA over the last couple of seasons when Mike Riley was there, so not a lot of head-to-head -head matchups there. But when I look at this game, you look at Nebraska, a massive brand, the energy, the environment, the vibe will be off the hook. But you look at them and their losses this year, BYU, Miami, Wisconsin, Northwestern, Purdue, Iowa, all 10 points or less, some on a Hail Mary, some on a double overtime. I mean, they had gone through drama, as has UCLA, the preseason injuries of their top three players defensively throughout the season. They've gone through a lot of different struggles. I'm excited to watch them bounce back after the USC game. So much was on the line, the Pac-12 South title. How can they rally this young team, Josh Rosen, get this offense rolling against a Nebraska team that gets that exemption to get their bull berth? Yeah, it, it, this is going to be interesting. It, it, when you look at both these teams, it's which team is going to show up, which Nebraska will show up. Is it the Nebraska that's lost five of their last eight games, or is it going to be the Nebraska that beat Michigan State? Is it going to be the UCLA team that beat the brakes off the Beavers, or is it going to be the UCLA team that got taken behind the woodshed by Stanford? So, you know, what team is going to show up? Because when these teams are playing at their best, really they're some of the best teams in their conference, and when they're not, well, they're not. Right. <laughs> 13th meeting between these teams. They've split it six and six. I can't help but think about that win on the road for UCLA a couple years ago. Brett Hundley balled out second half. Remember, they were down in that first half, and all of a sudden they rally and come up with a huge road win. Well, I will say this. I hope UCLA fans show up because Nebraska fans will, and you want to take advantage of it being in your state. Now, for more coverage on this game, just follow us on Twitter at Pac-12 Networks.